The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing you into the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints of the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly punished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth. Glory be to my Lord God Almighty to the highest and peace be to the mankind on this earth to whom in the true repentant heart of change of their mind believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as their only Savior. One more day being renewed to the praise of the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the divine energy and in the divine health which our Lord bestows upon us graciously day by day, which we cannot deserve, cannot earn, nor work for it, but rather in a gracious manner till our Lord seems fit on this earth to show forth the triumphing power of our Lord in the great boldness which he did against the principalities and the powers, stripping of them through his bride, the church, on this earth of pilgrimage trip, in the midst of this angelic conflict, being this world under the control of Satan. The great power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, who involves in each and every believer. The completion of canon, the word which is given for us. And being built unto one holy temple, saith our Lord. That great one holy temple, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher, so that they could teach to you the truth. And we could boldly manifest once again among the midst of the principalities and the power of this air that we are blameless. We can never mix in this world. And we are absolutely no fault finding in us. And for this reason our Lord has kept for us and given for us the great reality of the word so that we, our toil, our labor, our running should not be in vain. But today many of the people have become lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Like traitors giving up in the rash, concealed, concited manner of their thinking. Not able to go and look from the original languages of the scriptures. Not able to understand what is rebound to the privacy of the priesthood in confessing of their sins to get back into fellowship under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and search the deep things of Christ. The natural man cannot understand the things of the Spirit. Neither he can have a discernment about them, neither he can have an examination about them. Because he is spiritually dead, so are many people today in Christendom as well as in the world. The great many men who will be philosophers, who will be philanthropists, who will be like Zakir Naik, Moron, Moralagia preachers, They never knew until and unless they believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they can have a spiritual discernment about the subject of God. Particularly when they come to my Bible, the only Holy Spirit communication document to this world given graciously so that they can enjoy this document on this earth and live a life so that they could have eternal life in return in, this, in the midst of this angelic conflict. But not many of them can read because their hearing of the ear has been absolutely dulled. Therefore our Lord says in Isaiah 28 and 23, Give ear, I will teach. Come and listen to my teaching, I will teach to you. But the people say like Jeremiah chapter 18, We love our actions, we are absolutely happy in our doings of evil days and we will not repent and go back to Christ our Lord to listen about Him. That is what our people thinking today. 
That is what the world is thinking about. That is what the people are looking about. It's of a very great pain to tell you all these things, how much they are really defiling my God's word and my God's name on this earth. How much they are really not able to get into the word of the Lord and how much they are really looking upon these worthless materialistic things by becoming traitors to the word that has been given in their hand to rightly divide and to accurately tell the truth. It is of a very great pain for us to tell you all these things. Because today men have become lovers of their own pleasures rather than lovers and honors of God that you glory in the grace that has been given for us in this church dear brother. Our Lord has corrected us and he tells through the great allegory picture told in Ezekiel chapter 16 verses 8 through 14 how he washed us from the water how he cleansed us from his blood and how he has anointed with his oil what a church age believers we are Water representing the word of Lord, the gospel, as soon as you have been born in spirit and in water. Many people think they have to go and take some water baptism and then they could be saved. Nothing. It is about the gospel, figurative use of the word for water, for the word of the Lord. And that same water has been used in Ephesians 5, 25 to 27 to tell that it is Bible doctrine, doctrine, doctrine. Without that water you cannot be cleansed. Without that water you cannot purge yourself in this worldly pilgrimage trip where it is constant evil in this cosmos diabolicus. And when we say, as our Lord warned to Cain to tell, that sin is standing at your door and if you desire for it, it is going to roll over you. But today the sin nature is standing in us exemplified to the maximum through whatever channels we can take today in this lustful patterns through media through their eyes whichever perception gate they have just go and look into the world how much evil it is first corinthians chapter 5 describes for us an example but today it has become maximum like we can find even in the book of revelation 2 and 3 followed by great gospels which our Lord says my house has become a house of den of thieves rather than house of prayers in Revelation 2 and 3 we find the throne of Lord not being absolutely worthy the throne of Lord being not the throne the throne in the temple has become Satan's synagogue and Satan's throne has been established there and this Satan's throne which has been established which has been made known for us in Revelation 2 and 3 Satan is having its intercourse there to produce children of false teachers. This was written in 1896. But today, now we can find ample multiplication of it. Likewise, Cain's desire to be falling into sin has been amplified by the all sin nature in us which is dwelling. And we constantly, like the Nicolaitans, Zerzabal, or in fact even indeed the way of Balaam or the Korah, these are been profiting or exchanging the word of Lord to lies which is nothing but serving the ground. Serving the ground will not reward you. It has to be serving or shepherding the flock. Abel's offer was been taken because of his attitude, says many people, it is right. But by faith, the great things of Abel, many people want to tell today in the pulpits. If you want to give by faith to the ministry, definitely you will be developed again. Never compare to material things. By faith, endure and acquire the living word of God and establish in it to know your maximum glorification in this mystery doctrine of the church age. By faith, like Abel did, you have to go and give to Lord. Yes, Lord, you have chosen before this plan, before the foundation of the world. Yes, Lord, in your grace, you have really absolutely stripped out the principalities and the powers, and now you have triumphantly in a bold manner shown forth to the entire world what it is in the entire angelic conflict what it is to rule and now you have made us to be your sons and we have been called for us you have called us to trample satan under our feet and why we need to wait oh lord that's what your query should be
That's what your faith should be. And that's what your offering should be to God. Not your material money. Your material money perished with this at Peter to Simon. Simon, many of the people knew. And Barnabas wants to tell for us, clear with a purpose unto the Lord. What purpose we are having today to clear with the Lord? Spiritual purpose, material purpose. How can you grow up holy into one temple? How can you become that holy in the sight of Jehovah? By ignoring Bible doctrine, never in your life. By ignoring the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, not at all even to imagine about that. It is through rebound in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, living in the Spirit, walking in the Spirit, and yielding unto the fruit of the Spirit. So that when we live and walk and yield unto the fruit of the Spirit, we can show forth the greater glory of Jehovah on this earth before the foundation of the world being revealed or being hidden and kept. But now being made revealed, the first thing would be to write down at least once in your entire life, if you have been called as King in Christ, the Bible. No excuse, no chance, no explanations, no further X, Y, Z reasons upon it. Bible to be written, preferably upon your knees. And if you are a pastor teacher, go upon to write in the original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic. That is what you have been called to meditate day by day, study of the word of the Lord. Because you are feeding the flock of God, not your own terms and conditions of your own mind reasoning, dear brethren. That's why you need to know, these are the men who come along to teach to you with their own mind, with their own thinking, then they have been rejected. The teaching and the thinking should come from Christ, not with these men. These men are perishing. We are not been called to look upon this man's teaching. We are been called to look upon God's teaching, our Lord's teaching, our Lord's interference with us. And many of the people do not even know how great our Lord has endured this suffering by separation of three hours on the cross so that he can purchase us to his glory before the foundation of the world being hidden and kept so that we could be for his glory. If one end there could be before the foundation of the world glory of God at the same time there could be the great divine judgment of God before the foundation of the world for us. When we fail to pass in the documents examination of Christ our Lord. And what it is? Suffering. This suffering gives you patience. And it works in you the absolute confidence in Christ because He has called for us with His love being shed abroad upon our hearts. Through the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to teach the Word, to do His work. And to really honor His Word. That is what our work is. Honoring His Word through practical life, through holy manner of walk on this earth. So that we could show forth among the people who have been perishing in this earth what an example we have left behind in this angelic conflict for the grace that has been bestowed upon us for Christ. But we'd never even care to look about that. Weekly ones going to the church, standing in the choir, singing songs and telling to leave that theological nonsense to the theologians. Why do you want to preach that in the pulpits? Go and preach some evangelism work in the pulpits. Church is not mentioned for evangelism work, dear brother, and take it granted. Church is a classroom. The manifold wisdom of God, the much variegated color of God has to be taught. Through this manifold wisdom of God, the principalities and the powers by the church pulpit has to know and has to learn it and has to apply it and great glory and honor by the church not making evangelists take it granted. It is church for doctrine, doctrine, doctrine. You believe it or not, take it or not. It is doctrine, doctrine, doctrine. In the Deuteronomy chapter 1 and following, when we find the great discourse discoursed by Moses to the coming people to conquer the land, he discourses and says, long on to the promises given for God, he is in do it. Today in this world of angelic conflict, we have been given the word of the Lord and we have to endure it by faith. We need to achieve it, the suffering to great, a greater blessing in the Christ of our Lord in His sight through Jehovah for His glory. Only by enduring it, perseverance will be the key for us. 
but when a pastor does not really look at that time, what is the true purpose of this church? What is the true purpose of the pulpit? So many great lives have been sacrificed and we are living upon their lives. The Bible that we are enjoying today in our hands, for it, many people have given their lives. And we are standing upon their lives and we need to salute for their sacrifice by appreciation, by looking upon the desire of our Lord God the Father for us. But you know what? Readily they are men available to do the desire of their Father, which is nothing but the adversary or Satan, says John 8.44. Our Lord discourses to them to say, you are doing the desire of your father, which he is willing in you. He was a murderer from the beginning. Truth did not abide in him because he is not having truth at all. Today the pulpits where with men are preaching without having the bona fide gift of the pastor teacher from the original language of the scriptures and proper isagogic categories and exegesis of the word of the Lord in the true dispensing technique of dispensations. Many people are coming to teach and they don't have truth in it. Without ice concept over dispensations, you cannot communicate the truth. Take it granted. You believe it or not, I don't care. But the fact is this, you have to go back for exegeomai, John 1.18. And without exegeomai, without history, without categorization of the subject for the present edification of your soul in the spirit, the right dispensing technique of dispensations as such, where are you, how are you, and where it has to apply for you. You cannot really communicate the word. You know how much great freighters there are today because of this perilous time. Judas is Kariath went to give in Jude, Luke chapter 22, verses 3 to 6. The people were happy when they heard that they were going to get Christ in their hand. And Judah is Kariath being the man who has been as a disciple for Christ, he promised them he's going to get. And they were happy to give him the desired money for him. If those twelve apostles were there, and among them one was evil, to let go the glory of God for lie in exchange for the material thing. Today as such, we are able to find Many false teachers letting go the glory of God for a lie, for material exchange. And so are they, like the desires of their father, they are able to do. And I refer now here the father to Satan, to adversary of them. That's why they don't abide in truth. That's why they don't communicate truth. You find some legalism, some morality in the pulpits today, but not the truth. The truth of the word of the Lord is not being communicated at all in our pulpit today. Where is exegesis? Where is the Greek word? Where is the Hebrew? Where is the Aramaic to communicate and to begin the truth and tell for you that the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, searches the deep things, even the mystery of God, saith our Lord. It investigates so that we should not have any doubt on it. It searches for us the mystery doctrine, and that is what we have been called for. And the pastor teacher bona fide gift is that he has to discern that. And without discerning, without examining each and every word in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in the original languages of the scriptures, he cannot open his mouth to stand in the pulpit and to preach. He can never. If he's doing so without having preparation in the original language of the scriptures, he is blaspheming and he is doing the will of his father, which is nothing but Satan. Whether you believe it or not, the principle and the protocol plan of God demands, number one, purity. Number two, with extreme care, handling this truth. More than your life, more than your breath, more than your food. Nothing is more important on this earth than to handle His Word. And we are so much thankful for our Lord that He has given us this bona fide gift so that we could tell, Lord, it is our work we have done like an unprofitable slave. I don't require any gift. I don't require any wealth. Only your name and honor has, only your name and your word has to be honored more than about your name on this earth. That is what we are, born slaves for Christ. But like Zudas Iscariot in those 11, in those 12, one was an evil, 
So today, in today's Christendom, we are able to find 11 apostles who are absolutely evil and at least one who could tell the truth that ratio has been changed. It has been absolutely reversed. 11 were true apostles. Instead of the 12th one, it was Christ our Lord who has sent Paul, appointed in eternity past. And the 12 apostles' work has been gone, and the entire world knew about the word of the Lord. Being evangelized, being teaching, being preaching. But today, at present scenario of the Christendom, it has been absolutely reversed, it has been absolutely changed. We are not able to find even at least one bona fide gifted pastor teacher who is rightly dividing the word of the Lord in the midst of millions and millions and millions of people. Because that man is exchanging the truth for lie. That man is not having that integrity to stand for the truth because of the pressures of this world has been changing. Pressures of the committee is changing. And in fact, even indeed, the man is not able to communicate the word every day because the word of the Lord has to be taught every day. You believe it or not. Not weekly months. Every day you have to do it. We are not able to find a man who has written Bible upon his knees in the original language of the scriptures at least once. And God to be called as a witness that he has written. And how they can handle his word. What obedience, what humility, what humbleness you are going to tell to this world. Dear brethren, you need to be very careful about these things. The ratio being changed. It was love and right apostles and one fake apostle. Today, the ratio has come for 11 fake apostles and one right apostle. And that to be called as pastor teachers. God is faithful because he has provided in each and every generation faithful men in the past generation, R.B. Time, who have really handled the word of the Lord with great accuracy more than their life. And I'm much thankful to my Lord for giving me that right and true fellowship. When I asked my Lord to give me, he sent me this man with his word with his books, with his teachings. Whether the people love it or not, they take it or not, they consider it or not, I don't care. As far as me, the burden laid down upon my shoulders, I have to run the race with faith. Whether they are people to hear or not, whether they encourage or discourage or not, whether they hear or forbear or not, you need to do this work and I will do this work as long as there is breath in my nostrils. Not here to go for brotherly love, compromise, to rub his, to scrub his shoulder and say you are doing right, though it is wrong in the word of the Lord, the principal word of the Lord. And telling to the people, see this man is doing great work, I appreciate him, I appreciate this. You are not only deceiving those who are your hearers, but in return you are deceiving your own self and you are in return deceiving the great God who has with trust given to you. A great trust and trust given to you. This bona fide gift, which could be worked effectively only when we have been faithfully prepared. And if we are not faithfully prepared, you can never handle his word. Take it granted. So where are we? How are we? What are we to stand before the Lord and to answer him for the grace given for us? To tell that, Lord, have wasted your grace in vain, labored in vain, toiled in vain, or ran in vain without having the word of the Lord. What is your answer? You decide. If we are not able to jibe or to meet the standard set forth by our Lord for us, His righteousness and justice, that is the holiness of Jehovah, that there is nothing you can ask to stand at the judgment seat of Christ for pleading ignorance because you have already failed on this earth and in the heaven you will find wood and stubble rather than gold, silver and precious stones. So which way you want to go, you decide. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head board and eyes closed, the closing movement being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope and without eternal life. Inaudible telling to Lord God the Father that you believe in Christ in the privacy of your soul, that is the moment it is official and this eternal truth. This eternal truth for is for very simple. Believe in Christ, you shall be saved. 
Whereas for the believer, the great man is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to acquire to possess know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And whereas for the pastor teacher, the great man it is to Keruso Thorn Lagan, herald the word in season out of season because of the diamond my witnesses wherewith he has been called. The number one diamond from my witnesses in the Trinity followed by Bible in our hands. Number two are hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brother, and do not worry, besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. But what is our work? Our work is to faithfully, rightly handle the word of the Lord without having any ambiguity of mind, peddling the word of the Lord for profit, a capalio, but rather with sincerity, in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, communicating the truth for the sake of truth alone. So, dear brethren, we are being given as anaginisco and ginesco to know and to be read. They are not only men who should read our epistles in this earth, even in the angels are reading your epistles every day. Because you have been engraved by the Spirit of Lord God Almighty upon your hands, not written by tablets of stone. You have not been taught by the wisdom of men, but by the wisdom of Lord God the Holy Spirit, and we need to show forth what are we in Christ with the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit. To the entire angelic host of this earth, as long as we tread along, and when our history pages will come, Lord again to tell what we did in this flesh, whether it was for glory or dishonor to my Lord. So which way you go as the pastor teacher bona fide gift, you decide, but without ice concept and exegesis, without categories, without isagogics, and without having the dispensing technique of dispensations, you can never handle the word of the Lord accurately. We are dealing with the supernatural ability of God with his supernatural gift alone. And if you are not able to have that supernatural gift, you cannot handle this word of the Lord accurately. So which way you go, you decide. We shall come back tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, challenges in these things, so that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ alone might be glorified. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.